Welcome to another enjoying a landscape watercolor painting lesson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the wet into wet in different stages to present the feeling of distance. I'm going to use this 2B pencil and let's take a look at where is the house is the main object. It's going to be staying here. After you arrange the main object, and then you can compose other elements. Okay, here we go. Like that. This is will be. You can draw softly, okay. Or you can draw with watercolor paint directly, okay, like that. And I'm gonna have one and two of them closer together. And I'm gonna masking some of the the bigger shape on the leaves of the trees. The other masking is for the snow. I'm going to use this calligraphy brush. So first, I'm going to prepare the brush. Just use the water to make sure I have the soap got inside of the brush here. Okay, that's good. After that, I'm going to get some masking for it. Okay, that's should be good enough. Just dip some masking foot. Now I'm gonna put it over here. Like take a look, look at it first. Okay, like on this uh, tree, just step on it, tap on it like that, and some lift some interesting shape. And if you don't want to have it look a little bit too or a big, it just just quickly just touching on top of just the copress paper okay like that and a little bit coming up over here and try to make it a little bit random a little bit different like try to make it a little bit interesting okay you don't have to use too much masking okay here we go a little bit like that why don't I also mask the roof since we have this. So when we think we don't have to thinking or worry too much about what that is going to be covered or what need to be. Okay, I'm going to almost done the masking with the brush. Okay, here we go. That's good. And the edge over here. Look again. Okay, that's good. Okay. And the top over here. We have a little big edge. So that looks like the snow is piling up at the top. Okay, that's good. Alright, and the front over here, we don't really need to mask, we just paint on top of this. Now I'm gonna clean my brush. And it's very easy and just become brand new. I'm going to put it on the side. Now the next part of the masking is use the two brush for the snow effect. So I'm going to just put my brush down over here. And here we go. I'm going to look at it. And I'm going to really turn my face lower. Let's take a look. Okay. Now I'm going to do some cleanup and after a few minutes, they all dry. We're going to be ready to do the painting. If you want to see my painting up close, please come to visit youngchen.com. From my gallery, you can view my recent NFT projects. The masking foot already drives. Now I'm going to start the painting with this one inch flat brush. So I'm going to Paint it from the top over here all the way coming down. So take a look at what color we're going to use. It looks like a, almost like a light uh, gray color. Let's just take the red color with the blue. And this is good. This is almost a gray color. I'm going to use a little bit more water because I want it 
the paint a little bit more wet. Got a little bit more blue color. Here we go. Like that. That's good. Take a little bit more water over here. Now I'm going to start the painting from the top of the page. Here you go. Take a look at it. This is the color what you want. And you got to use a brush that's very soft and taking lots of pins because if you use a harder brush, it would scratch off the masking. Okay. This brush is very soft and take lots of lots of paint. Here you go. I'm coming down over here all the way. Look at it again. And as I'm coming down, I'm also going to add change the color. I also make this a little bit darker. Here you go. A little bit darker. Over here. There you go. Like that. Take a look. Coming down over here. And careful where you want to stop, right? You you don't want to get into the uh the snow of the surface. I'm gonna paint that around over here. There we go. Like that. And take a look at the outside. That's good. Now I'm going to have that painting over here. And as I'm going to make that a little bit darker. And at the bottom over here. Just get the red and get the plus and blue. You can get the color even darker. Here you go. A little bit blue color. Oop. Get a little bit more red. That's good. I'm going to put this color a little bit darker, like that. I'm going to spend some time on the front over here by having a little bit blue color. Okay, like that. Start over here. Just brush over like that. I'm going to have the pad a little bit curve like this. Here you go. Analyze it. And see how it look. And there's snow, some snow. And that's the shape. That's good. Now I'm going to also use a little bit light shape and brush over here from the left coming into. Take this color, have a little bit more red into it. Have a little bit more red like this. I don't want to have too much water in the brush. Now here you go. We're going to try that over here. Do this one. You see that? It's gradually fade away. That's good. The timing is very important in watercolor painting. Okay, like that. I'm going to have a little bit thicker color. Okay, here we go. Coming from the top, coming down over here. That's good. And every minute, it's getting dry more and more. So here we go. A little bit, just drag it down from the top to coming to the bottom. It will look like a tree. Okay, that's good. Okay, coming on this side. Here we go. You can sometimes you just draw it a little bit slower. Okay, here you go, like that. Very interesting. Okay, a little bit thinner line. Look at that. That's good. Keep going. Because it's so soft, the shape, it make you feel like when it's this, it dissolved into the background, it will look like, feeling like a tree. Okay, here we go. Over here get a little bit dry already and we'll come back to that a little bit later so I'm going to get a little bit water and here you go like that a little bit in the distance like that that's good okay now I'm going to come back on this side now I'm going to just use a little bit water here we go I'm going to have a little bit softer here we go 
Okay, I'm gonna pick water over here. There you go. I'm gonna pick sate. And now I need to expand that a little bit on the edge to make it still feeling like the distant. Okay, like that. There you go. That's good. Like that. Now you see the background trees. They already have some very interesting um, enough suggestions. And the bottom, I'm gonna have maybe a, even a little bit darker. And now the paper already drier than before. Okay, here you go. It's pretty good. Now I'm gonna paint the, the tree a little bit closer to us. So get a little bit red. Here we go. I'm gonna take a look. Let's take a look on this tree. Now it's a little bit drier. Like that. Okay. Take a look again. Okay, coming down. Keep coming down over here. That's good. Okay, another tree on the edge over here. That's good. Sometimes less is more. Now I'm gonna come to this tree. This one. A little bit coming here. Just tap on it. Don't make it too big. There's the pine trees. Very small, delicate. I'm gonna get a little bit more greenish feeling. Okay, like that. And first in the center, cut it down over here. Now I'm gonna have it from both sides. Now those trees, the front over here have a little bit more contrast, a little bit more clear. After we take away the masking for it, it will suggest even a little bit more easier. Okay, like that, that's good. Now over here, this is even a little bit bigger. Just first at the center, draw the line down over here. There you go. And there you go. We can have the brush a little bit drier, dry brush if you want, like that. That's good. That's good, like that. That's good. Like this, you see, that's it can be very easy. Now I'm going to have this tree a little bit closer to it. Just use the side brush like this. And also we can make this tree a little bit farther away feeling. this. Pretty good. That's good. Like that. I'm gonna have a little bit darker. I'm gonna get a little bit yellow mix into here. And that's good. Like this. Here we go. Here, kind of a little bit more like a greenish feeling. Okay, here we go. Like that. A little bit darker. Okay. okay, that's good. A little bit tree in the middle over here. Like that, that's good. All right, and we're gonna keep it a little bit darker at the bottom over here. There's a few lines like that. 
Now I'm going to paint into the color of the house. There is a brown color. I'm going to take the red color a little bit deeper. Red and get some yellow. That's very nice. And I'm going to put this color in here. Take a look like this. Actually, I can change the shape a little bit. Okay. Moving the shape a little bit higher like that. Here you go. Take a look at this. Okay, that's good. There we go, like that. I'm coming on this side over here. I'm gonna ping around over here. Okay, almost there. Now I'm gonna moving on this side. I don't want to get all the way over there because I'm going to make that color much darker. So I'm going to have a little bit more blue and red color and then put it on this side because this is the shadow. Okay, that's good. Okay, now when we come back, we're going to make it a little bit more details. Okay, here we go. We'll put a little bit shape like that. Here you go. So we can get a general feeling. That's a little catch the shadow right over there. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to draw a little bit thin line. Here you go. I can change the location of those lines and start over here like that can be very thin like this coming up yeah here you go can come in all the way over here here you go a little big line coming down over here here you go a little big line over here too that's good you see as soon as you, as long as you can hold the brush static, you can draw very controlledly with this brush. Here you go. That's good, like that. Okay. That's good. Maybe a little bit more over here. And I'm going to have some line coming up over here too. Some a little bit curved, some a little bit more dense, a little bit closer, some a little bit away. Make it very nice. Here you go. That's good. Okay, that's good. Now after we do all this, and the house is going to get in drive, I'm going to come back over here and take a look at this tree a little bit at the front make a little bit more clear here you go I also suggest a little bit tree over here too like that that's good now I'm going to have a little bit color over here I'm going to have a little bit like that change the shape Divide the shape a little bit. Okay, that's good. And we're gonna have a little footprint. Okay, here we go. And a little bit. Like this. Okay, a little big shape. And the snow over here. Okay, take a look on this side. Like that, that's good. And take a look on this side. That's good. All right, that's good enough. Now what I want to do, I'm going to add the darker details to the house. Now is the time. Okay, I'm going to put a little line over here, vertical line. 
this. There you go. I'm gonna have a little bit more, a little bit shape like that. I'm gonna make it even darker on the shadow area. I'm gonna keep a little bit more blue. I already have enough red color, so it's just get the blue color over there. I'm gonna have a couple line over here. Here we go, a couple post like that. That's good. And take a look at the edge over here. Here you go. Now I'm gonna set a little details. That's good, like that. All right. And then we're gonna wait for a few minutes. Okay, that's great. Now the whole paper all the drive. Now I'm gonna remove the masking. I'm just just use my dry clean fingers. As you can see after you remove the masking areas and the painting was showing beautifully. And then we're gonna add some final touch. Now, we're gonna add some, some of the details back in here. Like for example, we see that there's a little big shadow underneath, maybe this house. And if you think about something a little bit overdue, yeah, maybe something you're gonna add to it, and you want to cover some of the masking, uh, you can do that in this step. Okay, here you go. Over here, I think it's a little bit too much masking on the top. So I can just make a little bit smaller shape. And maybe make it a little bit thinner. Okay, like that. A little bit. You can divide the shape, make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit darker. That looks good. And I can have a little bit light shape on top of this house. Like that. Now take a look on this side. I think the shape over here can be a little bit thinner, a little bit smaller. Here you go. Now coming back here. Take a look on this shape. Definitely a little bit too much. There you go, a little bit more shape divided, like that. Okay, I think about, sometimes the masking is not always is the way you want it. It's just some of the shape may be a little bit too big, maybe a little bit uh, too chunky, or maybe just a little bit less interesting. Okay, that's good. Over here. And this shape's good. But I'm also going to want the snow a little bit gray, a little bit less bright. So I'm going to just add a little gray color on top of that. Make the snow even look a little bit more dimensional. Okay, that's good. All right, now come to the house. And the house on the side, we can see some 
volume. I'm gonna have just a little gray color. Just a little bit gray. I can take a look over here. And here we go. Like that. It's good. Like this. Okay. See a little bit shadow. That's good. Now I have a little bit light gray color over here. Like that. Oh, that's beautiful and now I'm gonna come back to soften that a little bit over here just use the clean brush soften that a little bit now I'm gonna come back to give a little bit clear line okay let's take a look I'm gonna have this line a little bit more clear Yes. Good. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Subscribe and turn on notification if you haven't done so. I'm looking forward to see you in my next video.